Welcome back. If you missed the first section of this video, please go to the Adult Learning GBG YouTube channel and watch Visual Learning and Mind Mapping Part 1. Ask your learner to create a Wordle and use that as the basis for the discussion, rather than the presentation itself. Wordle is also helpful in summarizing survey results and can be used as a way to illustrate one's work visually rather than as plain text. Here's an example of a mind map from Bubble.us. As a visual representation of the thoughts floating around in your head, color is often helpful. This helps bring out your creativity and is a great way to learn. Assigning color to a concept helps with retention. Word, image, number, logic, rhythm, color, and spatial awareness all in one single powerful manner. It is also important to illustrate your work with pictures, and mind maps work great. Our second sample mind map demonstrates the nine essential skills using Webspiration. This website offers a variety of activities and templates for you to try. Visual thinking is about using pictures to help you solve problems, think about complex issues, and communicate more effectively. Are you ready to work on your visual thinking skills? Remember, you don't have to be an artist, just a bit creative. Here's another example from text2mindmap.com. This is the most basic of the three mind mapping tools you'll be learning about today, and it's quick and easy to understand. We created a mind map featuring the three pilot competencies for the Ontario Adult Literacy Curriculum. It's colorful, easy to understand, and gives a new look to plain, boring text. Each of the tools you'll be using has their own quirks. You'll be able to decide which tools work best for you. Visual thinking and learning is a broad discipline with many different concepts, opportunities, and resources for you to incorporate into your day-to-day -day learning and instructing. As informivores, we're constantly on the hunt for new ideas and concepts. There's a wealth of knowledge at your fingertips already thanks to the World Wide Web. What's great about visual learning is that you're taking old concepts and ideas, deconstructing them, and putting them back together in a much more visual way. It's a win-win situation for all. These are just a few of the free online tools you can use to create wordles, mind maps, and more visual tools. Visit the Worded Out website and type in the text you'd like to use to create your wordle. You can then change the color and the layout to create a visual tool unique to your organization. This is another example of a word cloud from Worded Out. Imagine how you could use this to improve your learning and promotional material. As you review these examples, try to think of a few ways you could use these tools to improve your existing content or create new interesting content for your organization. How would your learners benefit from the graphic and colorful display of ideas and concepts that might be difficult to digest in plain text? Imagine really standing out and catching your funder's eye with a visual representation of your organization's core priorities. Or try presenting a word cloud of positive comments from student satisfaction surveys at your next staff meeting. This is a great way to celebrate successes. Now, enjoy this licensed, royalty-free music from Terzarima while we display further instructions on creating and saving visual learning and mind mapping tools. The instructions move quickly, so pause the video when you're ready to complete an activity. Enjoy! Mm -hmm. 